Okay, so I've been editing in Premiere Pro for quite a month now, and the results are going to shock you, and are not as you expected it to be. And the video which you are watching right now is also edited by Premiere Pro. So let's get started with this video. So as we were discussing. I'm going to tell you how my experience was with Premiere Pro. First thing I liked there was the user interface was so easy that if you like just give 5 minutes to it you could really understand it and edit some sort of a basic video which you can edit in any other software. But the problem which I have found myself in is when I go to any other software such as DaVinci Resolve or um video pad video editor I struggled a lot. it was so tough and you know the user interface it's it was not friendly it was really difficult to learn and that you know what i'm saying right so the user interface heads hats off was really nice and easy to use and next is they had really really nice effects and in their own app they have tutorials and that kind of stuff this is the first video which i've edited with um, the premiere pro Yeah this video was really basic no one would have thought it was uh, edited on premiere pro so yeah it was kind of basic and i've not been using premiere pro for almost 3 weeks now i used it for 2 weeks um the thing i liked was and the thing um i liked was really that you can edit fast if you have a good laptop or a computer and f- one thing i want to tell to you guys you have to have a strong laptop or a pc your premiere pro app like really takes a lot of space and um doesn't function properly sometimes my two or three projects have gone missing due to that that's why man that's why and in phone i edited two weeks to stay in premiere pro and um after that i edited in phone because like you know um it was a lot of pressure and it was not good man like you know i was sort of irritated and my mouse kept lagging and stuff so that was really tough i would suggest you have a good mouse and a mouse pad if you are editing in premiere pro or in any other software because the consistency should be there when you are cutting the clip and that stuff and another thing i liked about premiere pro is that they have keyboard shortcuts which mean if you press c it cuts the clip If you press T and click on the screen, it puts text. That's right. Keyboard shortcuts were a lot of help, man. Really, a lot of help. Due to them, the thing got easy. And there are many tutorials on YouTube, and you can learn it within like an hour or something. But the thing which I hated most about Premiere Pro was its transitions. Really, trust me. who wants like a wipe out transition or a windows movie maker transition in a professional editing software really i didn't like that so i have been seeing some of these videos for for the past 2 3 days and um, they show how to import like uh, transitions and i have tried that but it um, doesn't work properly um, you know what i mean it doesn't import um, that tutorials are about 5 4 years old <laughs> and another thing is a drawback is the font right it's um it doesn't work sometimes right so the stroke which meaning the border of the font for example the font is white color and the border of the font is black green or red any color that thing doesn't come properly in premiere pro that's one more downside of premiere pro there are really 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 many upsides i really like premiere pro and it's a big flex when you say to people like the software do you edit in oh i edit in premiere pro it's a big flex so i kind of feel proud for that and um the subscription is really like costly man i'm telling you um it is like 200 um dollars per uh, year or something yeah and if you want to buy the whole software it's like 400 but i'd say if you are really a professional and you consider editing and this all stuff like um that's worth sprinting and adobe premiere I, i mean adobe cloud you know adobe cloud it has all the softwares if you buy that it's around the same price approximately so 
has a lot of apps like photoshop like um I don't, I don't know, know most, most of, of that, that but I'm telling like like Photoshop, Photoshop, Adobe Animate, Illustrate and all other types of apps. It would really help you in your filmmaking. So I really like Premiere Pro. I don't know why I like before I used to be like it's a really tough software. You know, like professionals can use it. No, I'm a noob. Why? How can I use that? Bro, nothing is like that. You, anyone can use it. Even you, a TikToker, you, most probably you're not. But if you are, you can also use it. No restrictions. We love everybody and if you want to watch the first video i did on premiere pro click right here till next time peace and bye bye